Ever wonder how a car company you might not even know is outpacing the giant Tesla? Enter BYD, the electric vehicle powerhouse from China that's quietly taking over the world's EV market. While you might not recognize the name, there's a good chance you've ridden in one of their vehicles. Think city buses and taxis weaving through the streets of global metropolises. But BYD's meteoric rise isn't just about buses and taxis. It's the result of something far more strategic. A plan crafted with precision by both BYD and the Chinese government. Here's what has fueled BYD's incredible ascent. China's backing of electric vehicles is unprecedented and BYD has become the poster child of this movement. With tax breaks and subsidies that total around $30 billion since 2010 and the potential for an additional $97 billion by 2027, China's support has been nothing short of extraordinary. And they're not just about throwing money at the industry. China has also set strict targets for EV production and offers perks like low interest loans, reduced land costs, and R&D incentives to companies that commit to their vision. BYD, as one of the country's top EV makers, has benefited massively from these policies, gaining the kind of momentum that companies elsewhere can only dream of. Tesla has tapped into these incentives too, but BYD is China's pride and joy producing the majority of its EVs domestically. It's no wonder they've taken the lead in the global EV race, setting the stage for China to become the dominant force in a market that could be worth $8.8 .8 trillion by the end of the decade. In fact, BYD has overtaken Tesla as the world's top EV seller, and it's done so with a formula that's totally unlike Tesla's. Instead of focusing on high-end luxury electric cars, BYD has mastered the art of affordability putting EVs within reach for millions. While Tesla's Model 3 sedan starts at around $40,000, BYD's lineup includes 10 models that come in below that price, even some as low as $10,000. It's a different strategy from what Elon Musk pursued. Musk wanted to dazzle the market with premium performance EVs, building intrigue at the high end before moving down the price ladder. But BYD turned that approach on its head. They started with practical, affordable electric buses and taxis, making electric transportation accessible from the ground up. And this emphasis on affordability didn't just mean lower costs for customers, it allowed BYD to push the EV battery market in ways no one else was doing. Right now, the average Tesla costs around $45,000, while BYD's models hover closer to $20,000. So how does BYD manage to keep prices so low? The answer lies in what's known as vertical integration. Essentially, BYD makes most of the parts for its vehicles in-house. Most traditional car makers rely on suppliers for critical components. For example, Volkswagen manufactures only about 35% of the parts for its ID3, while Tesla builds roughly 68% of the parts for its US made Model 3. But BYD? They manufacture a whopping 75% of the components that go into their flagship SEAL model. And that control has given BYD a massive advantage. One of the biggest game changers? Batteries. Unlike other automakers, BYD produces its own batteries, a skill they've honed since the 1990s when they first started as a battery manufacturer for electronics. This self-reliance proved critical during the pandemic, when supply chains worldwide went into disarray. While other automakers scrambled to source batteries and parts, BYD was steady, manufacturing its batteries in-house and navigating the chaos with ease. Founded in 1995, BYD originally built rechargeable batteries for mobile phones and other electronics. This experience meant that when they entered the auto industry in 2003, they already understood the importance of efficient, scalable battery production. Building everything from batteries to major vehicle components themselves has allowed BYD to keep costs low, all while improving quality control and agility. BYD stands for Build Your Dreams, and they're certainly living up to that name. This homegrown approach, combined with the support of some big-name investors, has allowed them to dominate China's EV market and make serious inroads globally. Now, let's talk about how BYD is giving Tesla a serious run for its money. It all starts with the vision of founder Wang Xuanfu. Forgive me if I said that wrong. But he's a quiet, focused man who's a stark contrast to the bold persona of Elon Musk. Wang isn't about the spotlight, a chemist and engineer by training. He's far from the flashy, show-stoppy CEOs we're used to seeing in the auto industry. When he was told to dress up a bit for an investor meeting, he reportedly bought his shirts right off the street. 
but behind that humble style lies a sharp mind that's redefining EV technology, especially with BYD's lithium iron phosphate batteries. These are cheaper, safer, and take up less space than traditional lithium ion ones, giving BYD a technical edge that's hard to ignore. It's part of what caught the attention of legendary investor Warren Buffett, who invested in BYD early on. And when he brought Bill Gates along for a test drive, Gates was reportedly amazed by the quality of BYD's vehicles. Now, BYD's ambitions are pushing well beyond China. Since 2021, it's been expanding into global markets, rolling out EVs across the Middle East, Southeast Asia, and Europe. It's still a newcomer on the global scene, but sales are ramping up fast. In just three years, BYD has become a top seller in EV markets like Thailand, Brazil, and Australia. Still, there's a challenge ahead. While BYD is a household name in China, it's less recognized in these new territories, and it's only starting to build its reputation. But make no mistake, BYD is determined. With a unique mix of technical innovation, affordable pricing, and low-profile yet savvy leadership, it's poised to go beyond being the largest EV maker. But the question now is whether BYD has what it takes to become one of the largest car makers in the world. However, this ambitious journey is riddled with hurdles. The two biggest challenges? Regulatory uncertainties and brand awareness. Over in the European Union, investigations are underway into the subsidies that help Chinese EV manufacturers, including BYD, flood the market with competitively priced vehicles. These imports, produced at lower cost in China, are posing a serious threat to European automakers who are scrambling to keep pace. To counter this, BYD is focusing on localization, essentially bringing production closer to the market. The company is actively evaluating potential factory sites across Europe, ensuring that a portion of its vehicles is made locally, which could help ease regulatory concerns and bolster its image. Yet the challenges don't stop there. In the United States, BYD faces a complicated web of trade tensions between Beijing and Washington. These geopolitical frictions are making the U.S. market a daunting frontier for the company. While industry experts have long anticipated that American giants like GM and Toyota would eventually close the gap with Tesla in the electric vehicle race, it's now clear that a Chinese contender has leaped ahead, defying expectations. China is also making waves in the global auto market, now rivaling Japan for the top spot in passenger car exports. As of October, approximately 1.3 million out of 3.6 million vehicles shipped from China were electric. The presence of BYD, along with other Chinese automakers, is growing more prominent, challenging the traditional dominance of iconic names like Toyota and Volkswagen. Much of BYD's ascent can be attributed to the robust support from the Chinese government and early investment from influential figures like Warren Buffett, whose Berkshire Hathaway remains a key stakeholder. But BYD's ambitions reach beyond just competing with Tesla. They're constructing factories in Europe, Latin America, and Asia, all while rolling out their vehicles in cities worldwide. As the global automotive landscape shifts away from combustion engines, BYD is strategically positioning itself to take on any challenger that comes its way. What does the future hold for BYD? As it navigates regulatory obstacles and builds brand recognition, the world will be watching closely. What are your thoughts on BYD's rapid rise? Share your opinions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more updates.